Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and this is part 13 of our uh, video tutorial series for progressive web apps. So basically from the previous tutorial, we already um, created our database using the Firebase database and uh, in this video, we're gonna uh, implement it and integrate it in, into our um, project so basically what we have here um, index.html and then in here we are including the javascript file for our app and then we also have the common.js so if you try to look up or if we try to look at the app.js we can see that we have here the service worker uh, we're checking if the service worker is in navigator if uh, in other words if the service worker is supported by the browser so we're doing the registration of our service worker file right here and we also have the common.js where um, we're just implementing the um, right side menu of our page so if we try to preview this in a browser, so let's just open it with live server and then we're going to check the capability of this uh, left side menu. So or yeah, left and right side menu. So click on this and then the sidebar will appear and the same thing with the right side. If you click on the um, plus button so we can see the right um sidebar as you can see here where we could you know input our uh, contact name and contact number so as i've said in this video we're going to implementing um integrating the firebase database uh, into our project so we have here the index.html and then we're gonna have to import also another file for our project so I'm just going to copy the script right here, type in script, and then type text, and then JavaScript. Okay, and SRC will be um, JS and then slash db.js. Okay, and uh, we're going to create this uh, db.js. So under js folder directory we could create a new file and then name this as db and then the file name will be js okay there you go so in this uh inside this particular file we're gonna add the function that will enable us to um, sync our database into the online uh, firebase database and uh, it should be able to synchronize the data coming from our app, the offline data, and then it should synchronize with the online data in Firebase. And also, this particular file will enable us to add and delete um, the contacts okay, from our project. And of course, um, delete it with uh, or delete it also online okay so it should be uh, synchronized now in adding the contact we're gonna add here a new comment so this is for adding new contact there you go and um let me change first uh okay i think that's okay um we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to create a new constant for our form equals and then we're gonna select or we're gonna use the query selector there you go open and close and uh we're just gonna target the form okay so we're gonna add an event listener to this so that will be form uh, that's uh, using our const variable form and then add event listener okay 
and uh, our uh, event will be submit so basically what we're trying to do here is that selecting the form and whenever the user submit the form we have to execute a function okay so let's just add comma here and then yeah comma and then event they are a function open and close curly braces and inside here we're gonna have to use the event and then prevent default okay so we're preventing the default behavior of submitting the form because the default behavior of submitting the form the page will try to reload and we don't want that what we want is to wait for uh, the processing of all the information within this particular form before reloading or, or uh, before loading the form itself okay so cons again and then the contact equals and then we're gonna have to create a new uh, what they call this create a new object um, con consisting of the name and the, the contact number of our contact okay so name and then form the name that value okay comma and then number will be equal to the form um, numbers and then value so basically what we're trying to do is assigning the value of our name field into the name um, property right here and also the numbers field uh, into the number property okay then semicolon right after that we're gonna use the DB um, object or um, yeah variable uh, I think it's uh, here inside in index.html we created this cons DB right here so we're referencing that and then DB collection open and close and as you can probably uh, probably remember we created the contacts collection in the firebase and then we're gonna have to uh, call on the add function and inside that we're gonna supply the contact that we have created right here okay and then Whenever there's an error, then we could catch that by using the catch statement. Tuck in the catch statement right here. And then error. And then arrow function. Just to have, you know, uh, some sort of uh, feedback. Whenever there's a problem with uh, adding the contact into our Firebase database. So for now, let's just... Uh, display it uh, on the console so console log or console that log and then the error itself okay and after that we're gonna set the forms uh, value or those fields the numbers and the name so we're gonna set that into empty uh, some sort of resetting the um, value of our fields so we're gonna use the form const form name and then value equals empty string again we're just resetting the value of our fields form dot numbers dot value equals empty string okay so save this um as you can see inside our index.html let's try to see so we have here the fields name and then the numbers so what we're trying to do with our add new contact script is that we're getting the value uh, of the name okay 
so we have that here and then also we're getting the numbers value also here and then right after that one we're adding it to the collection contacts specifying the contact that we have created right here which consists of the name and the number of the contact and also right after adding that we're just resetting the value of our form meaning right after adding it we want the uh, fields to be empty okay so that's like resetting the value of our form okay um in the next video we're gonna uh, um, add the delete functionality so this one is for adding new contact and in the next video we're gonna have to add the delete the contact script so i hope you have uh, learn something from this video guys and if you want to follow along with this tutorial you could check the next video where we could add or we will add the uh, delete contact script so thank you for watching and see you in the next video